heartbeat, heartbeat. Oh, you got a beautiful heartbeat, beautiful heartbeat, beautiful heartbeat. You got a, you got a beautiful heartbeat. Look, see, she was about five, seven, brown skin, straight ten. The baddest in the city and the finest of her friends. Baby girl is fine, I ain't talking emotion. I let her ride the ride, baby girl, will coast in. It's over, gotta let the side chase go. She rides my highs every time I feel low. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bianca here with another video. And today is just today. I wanted to do a video specifically on uh, something I got from Ulta. See, beautiful today. That's what we're gonna see today. I got a few things from Ulta actually. I got the Mario Badesco. I got the facial spray. And I've been hearing a lot about not this product specifically, but I wanted to try this first. But this brand, I hear about it all the time. So I wanted to try that and since it's Christmas, I'm treating myself to the season and it's 2020 and you need to treat yourself, period. Anyway, so I picked up a few things. I got two lipsticks, I got this spray, and then I wanted to try, most importantly, this Tarte concealer. Guys, I have seen so many different reviews on this. I have friends who wear it, and I just love the way it looks on people. I love the coverage that it gives to people, and so I wanted to try this. I got it in the color Tan Sand. I didn't get to try out any of the ones that was there because of, you know, COVID or whatever. So, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be what I'm looking for, but at least we'll get to see the coverage today. What I'm looking for mainly when I use this, really just like a bright extra under my eye, but not too extra. And something that looks still natural, but just like effortlessly natural. Like I want to glow in the dark. I want to be like one of those 50 bombshells. You guys remember those girls, how when the movie just was on them, like, you know how they just illuminated? But that's what I want. I picked it up and I'm going to try it. This is what the box looks like. I just took it out, obviously, but I'm not going to put it back in. I'm excited to try it, guys. <laughs> yes! While I'm trying it, I'm gonna do like while I'm doing the makeup. So let's get started. As you guys probably already know, this is like one of the best concealers. America's number one concealer brand. I've heard a lot about it, so I don't doubt that, but I don't know. Well, I'm ready to see what the hype is about. It's supposed to give you like a flawless, full coverage look for like 16 hours of the day. And once again, I don't doubt that because like I said guys, I've seen people wear this product and they always look so perfect throughout the day. It's supposed to like erase any fine lines that may be on your face. With age, everybody gets older. You start to see lines in places that you've never seen before. See how it looks under my eyebrows? I'm kind of scared though. That was a lot. One thing the girl was telling me in the store is that a little goes a lot. I'm gonna dab some of that on my hands because I don't want to be looking crazy. I feel like that's too light. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna use this under my eyebrow. I don't think so. I like for my eyebrow to have more of a natural look. This is too bright. Y'all, I have to go someplace after this, so I don't want to look crazy. So I'm going to erase that and come right back. I used the uh, LA Pro Concealer to fix those because I'm not trying to go out here looking extra, 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 read all about it. This is a lot, right? But I need it because my face has been breaking out so badly. I don't usually use a lot, but today I need it. I'm going to spray the Mario Badesco skincare the facial spray I got the with aloe herbs and rose water one it was like seven bucks another cool thing about the brand is that no matter how much you put on it's not supposed to crease wait this girl told me that, that a little goes a long way so I'm gonna try to put as little as possible is that little I feel like that's a lot I feel like this is a lot but we're gonna see that was probably a lot guys I'm not even gonna lie I hope I'm not sitting here dabbing my face for like 50 hours. I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend it out. I was looking on the website and they were saying that it applies easier with a jumbo speed blender. I don't know what that is, but I'm using a beauty blender. It's already kind of a little damp, so. Like I was saying earlier, the LA Pro Concealer blends easier, but with this one, I will say that it feels really light. 
and I don't feel like I have a lot on. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. I think I could have probably went a shade darker. Personally, my face feels smooth. Like I said, I don't feel like there's anything on really. I have on a lot, but I don't have on a lot. As far as creasing goes, first of all, I need to blend it out a little bit more. I'm gonna try to put a little bit more on. Let me see. I think it's too light though for me. Yeah, this one, this one feels a lot easier to blend. You just need to put like a, a good amount, but it feels better. I still feel like that's a lot, but whatever. So far, I don't see any creasing. Right now, we're gonna just, we're gonna bake it. We're gonna bake it, baby. <laughs> It's like the lighting is so weird. I don't know what the heck's happening, guys. <laughs> I'm not mad at this, guys, at all. At all, okay? I feel like I'm about to get the look that I always be wanting that I haven't seen in a while. And maybe it's because of quarantine. I don't really be trying now that when I go out, like I'm gonna wear a mask. Why do I need to put on any makeup? For real, for real. But then there's other times when I just wanna be cute because I miss looking cute. I like how it lays on top of the sash. It's just absorbing it. That's so cool. Like, and I have on a lot of right now. My face feels really smooth. Actually guys, so now I'm just gonna finish up really quickly and then after I'm done, we're gonna talk more about the product see you in a bit i hate wearing lashes with a passion i need to go back to getting individuals because these strips in me don't have time for it together we don't like each other clearly So I'm all done with the makeup. I'm not gonna lie, the way I'm looking at it in this camera right now for this selfie that I'm about to take, I like the way this looks. Like, it's a little light, I, I must admit. I personally would find like a better tool other than a beauty blender to blend it, but I like it. I think it's really cute. I think it looks, it has a very smooth finish. I think it has a very flawless finish. And I love it. I feel like I have a perfect face right now. I think that's what I see in the in the camera. But from my phone camera, this is a vibe. I like it. I think it looks cute. I would totally recommend this to somebody. If you guys are looking for a present to give to one of my friends or just something to gift yourself. Like for me, it's 2020. Anything I want to do, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to let anything hold me back from doing it. And I just want to try everything these days. So I totally recommend this product. Like I said, I got it in the color Tan 66. I think next Next time I might go a little bit darker and I still have 60 days if I don't like it I can always return it thank god because how cool would it be if they made you keep something you didn't like you can't test it in the store so it's supposed to be waterproof it's supposed to not crease for like 12 hours no crease in sight which is more than enough look like I, I'm obsessed I think I look fucking good <laughs> I'm a zombie Anyway, it's supposed to have like a smooth finish for like when you're taking pictures and I can see that. Like I can actually see that right now. Like this looks flawless on my camera right now. I feel like I could take the most bombest selfie and it would look flawless, okay? Like I'm just saying. Okay, LA Pro Concealer. You might have some competition. I ain't even gonna lie. I might save this for my good days when I wanna go out and be a that. I'm kidding, none of that. When I want to go out and have fun with my friends and do hood red things with my friends. You guys know what I'm talking about? Because I gotta be, you know, flawless. I might take a little snap shot of myself a little bit later and see what I still look like after I come back from where I'm coming from. It won't be 12 hours, but it'll be close to 12 hours actually. Okay guys, this is the end of my video. I just got finished doing what I was doing. I've been out now for like seven or eight hours. I can honestly say I didn't put on any primer. I have like setting spray or whatever, but, and my makeup is still pretty, still intact. It doesn't really look like I have anything on. I love you guys and I hope you guys have a good rest of your week and stay tuned for my next video. Bye. She boosts my pride every time it seems to go. Oh my God, what a prize. Let us behold, she the queen of all queens. That's how it seems. Every time she in the room, she don't blink. She got to keep a go. Focus one thing you don't notice. You my flavor, flavor. Now come and pour it all over me, baby. I enjoy happiness. I enjoy happiness. And I enjoy love. And I enjoy Just give me your flavor.
beautiful heartbeat, beautiful heartbeat. Oh, you got a beautiful heartbeat.